Welcome back, everybody. Looks like uh, on this trip I discovered some more um, bud moth damage. They have a life cycle of about four weeks, if I remember right. And uh, this is exactly four weeks after I sprayed the last time. So, yes, my video, excuse me, my audio is giving me problems again. But anyway, I added some more zinc to this spray. And uh, this gives me at least a chance to go see the trees, kind of take a peek at them, and uh, see how they're all doing. But there's really a lot of damage on some of these trees from the bud moth. And the damage happens so fast. They're very, very destructive. Of course, on this trip, I will be mowing. As you can see, some of these weeds are getting pretty high. But here in just a few, I'll be pointing out. Yep, right there. You can see where some of the bud moths have actually killed the leaves. They can absolutely kill these small, vulnerable trees once all the foliage is killed off, the tree can't live. So they're pretty bad. You really have to be observant for them to make sure you get on top of it right away. Of course, I have a uh, special surprise on this trip up here. It's going to be a trip and a trip and a trip. And uh, it's actually trying to head out of town. But I saw this damage and I had to take care of it before I left. So I got up a little earlier in the morning, got the mix together, and kind of spray these trees off real quick. Luckily, it only took about an hour to get them all sprayed. So. It's a lot easier with this trailer sprayer than it was with uh, just a one gallon can. <laughs> it took a lot of refills on that one. This is a, I think it's a 25 or 30 gallon and uh, I can spray them all and have some left over. So this tree looks really nice. The healthier ones, they don't attack as bad. It's the ones with a lot less foliage that they could just decimate. Like this one. But I spray them anyway, just in case. They are kind of alive. There were a few that I sprayed. And they actually came back. So I don't give up. Not just yet. I'll see by the winter time which ones are living and not. There were a few that the graft part didn't take or it died because of the bud moths, but then the rootstock actually started growing some leaves on it. So I'll be able to let those grow up some more and then graft those. So it's not a total loss. All the newer growth on the tree that made it will provide enough graft material to graft onto the rootstock. So here I'm pointing out some of my perennial peanuts that I planted. So I'm glad they're taking root and holding up okay. They'll take some time to spread like a few years. There's another one. <laughs> that one, I think that was a wheat. I planted a little bit of wheat. <clears throat> and that, of course, is perennial peanuts. I also have some peas, the ironclad peas. 
in there. And some big tall grass. I don't know what that is. I don't think I planted it, but I do want it to go to the seed. So this is about it. So hopefully I can get these things knocked out. There might be one more time that I have to spray them this year. They have a, up to five life cycles, I believe. Well, thanks again for watching. Have a great day.